ունենի եկեղեցի մինչ կանցնեմ նվիրատության խոսքին այսօր ինչպես տեսնում ենք մենք ունենք շատ շատ հրաշալի հյուրեր այսօր աստված մեզ պատիվը արել եւ շատ թանկագին մարտիկ են այսօր այստեղ եւ այսօր մեզ կծառայի Ֆլորիդայի աղոթքի տուն ծառայության հովիվ Ռոջեր Լին իր Պարկե <gülüyor> Hele որ փոքրիկ եկեղեցին, բայց մենք հավասում ենք, որ Աստվածը զավ մաները անում է հետ, ու հեմն Աստված մեծ ծրագրեր ունի։ Ամեն։ Ամեն։ Պարտիրոջը ամեն ինքնությամբ համար։ Եվ Եվ պատահական չի սիրելիս որ այդ ուրեմն կանգարել մեզ վրա ես ամեն ինչը որpիսի մենք աճենք զորանանք եւ շարժվենք առաջանում ամեն բանի համար Imanullah Rajendra. We're from Florida. <coughs> we have our team here with us. <coughs> Josh. Joshna. Daniel. Daniela. Salomon. 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 Rebecca. Rebecca. And Danny. <coughs> we want to thank Pastor Armin. And your church for inviting us. This is our first time in Armenia. And we've been here about a week. And we love your country. It is so beautiful. Lots of mountains. In Florida, we don't have mountains. We only have beaches. <laughs> But I grew up uh, with mountains in Seattle. <laughs> so it's beautiful here. And, uh, and we love being with the church. We have met many different uh, groups, churches. And even coming here today, it's wonderful being in the, with the family of God. Amen. Yeah. You feel the, the, the unity of the Holy Spirit. And God has made us brothers and sisters. And one family together. And so it's a joy for us to be here with you. And to serve our God together. Amen. 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 You have your Bible. Let's turn to Ephesians 4. <coughs> I want to read uh, just a few verses. And I thought what we would do this morning is look look at the Bible a little bit. And then we can pray together. Because in Florida. Okay. We have a church. Is that we have a prayer room? 
And so we pray every day. And we have worship. And you guys can always come to Florida and sing. <laughs> and so our uh, prayer rooms open about 60 hours a week. <coughs> and so together we worship and pray as a foundation for everything we do. Is to worship Jesus. And to pray for what God wants to do in the earth. And wherever we go, it's uh, wonderful to see the church that worships and prays. Because worship and prayer brings the presence of God to down. Amen. It's where we win the victory. <laughs> it's how we establish the kingdom. It's how the Holy Spirit comes. So we must be a people of worship and prayer. Amen. Amen. So Ephesians 4. Uh, I'll, just, I'll start reading verse 1. It says, Therefore, I, the prisoner of the Lord, implore you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling with which you have been called. <clears throat> so Paul encourages us Paul encourages us to live a, a lifestyle that's worthy of who Jesus is. And Paul says that each one of us has been called by God. Amen. And God has spoken your name. <coughs> and God has put a deposit of the Holy Spirit inside of each one. Amen. He's saved us by cleansing us from our sins. And He's made us sons and daughters to our Father. And so he said he has called us out of the world. To be to be different from the world. And to, and to walk in a way that follows Jesus. And follows the word of God. That we are to live with a, a, a different focus. And our life is to honor Jesus. In everything we do, with our families at work with our friends at church how we use our money and everything that we do we are to honor Jesus with it 
We're not to follow the ways of this world. Because this world is not our home. Another home. Because we're another family. Amen. And we're going to another place. Amen. Right? And we'll be there forever together. <coughs> he gives us some different ways of how to live. That honors Jesus. Amen. It says, verse 2, I'll read it. <coughs> with all humility and gentleness, with patience, showing tolerance for uh, for one another in love. And gentleness. And to be patient. But all of these are with one another. It's how we treat one another. The way we treat one another shows how much we honor Jesus. So if we fight, if we put someone down, if we speak against one another, right? this is not the way of Jesus. But he tells us to be humble <coughs> meaning to think of other people better than you. <coughs> and to be gentle with one another <coughs> or to be nice right? to, uh, to wait <coughs> to be patient Okay. And then the other is to show love to one another. Because the Bible tells us we can't say that we love God if we don't love one another. And how we treat one another and serve each other help each other speak well of each other this shows how much we believe in God. Amen. It doesn't matter what we say. It's how we act. It's how we serve one another. With so many needs. It's how we share together. How we encourage each other. Because remember, we're one family. And so we're, we're brothers and sisters together. And so it's very important how we treat one another. And how we honor one another. And we want to help each person to do what God's called them to do. Because when one of our brothers or sisters is successful, then we're all successful. And when one is hurting, 
then we're all hurting. And so we want to carry our burden together. Verse 3 <coughs> says being diligent to preserve the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. And so Paul says work to preserve the unity. Because in salvation, in the Holy Spirit, we are one together. And the enemy wants to come and bring division. And the enemy wants us to fight against each other. But what God loves is unity. And he says he made us one family together in the Holy Spirit. And so we have to work at it. If we don't work to preserve the unity, <coughs> then we will actually fall apart. And the enemy will come in. But together we can do more. And this unity in the Holy Spirit is revealed by a bond of peace. And so, if there's no peace, there probably is no unity. <laughs> because peace is necessary for there to be unity. So look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor. <laughs> Is there peace? Peace. Let's do this. Is there is there love? How do you do it? Yeah, there you go. Is there is there you have love in your heart for one another? Amen. <laughs> Do you love your pastor? <laughs> it's the because we have to love the one that's different from us. And the one that's uh, hard for us. Because this was this is what shows the power of God. When different people come together as one family, where it's not possible in the natural, it's what the Bible says that enemies come together. Right. Or people that hurt you. It's easy to love people that like you. <coughs> but when people hurt you, or they hate you, or they don't like you, okay, then it ha there's the opportunity to show the love, the power of God in love. <coughs> and you have a unique opportunity because you have neighbors that don't like you. 
քանի որ դուք ունեք շրջապատ կամ ողքիններ ովքեր չեն սկսել other countries ուրիշ երկրներ աշխարհում աշխարհում that's real christianity <laughs> you had war. Attacks. People that threaten you. The good news is they're coming to Armenia. To meet Jesus. Amen. Amen. And as they come into the church, you must, it's hard to forgive. It's not, it's not easy to open your arms and to receive them. It's not easy to give from your heart. But this, but this is the way of Jesus. Is to love from your heart. As one family. As, as they follow Jesus. And so you have a very unique opportunity. Because you have a uh, <laughs> okay, let's let's go to uh, verse four. <coughs> it says there is one body, one spirit, one calling, uh, one hope, one Lord. Verse five, one Lord, one faith. Make havad. One baptism. Make a makertuchan. Verse six. One God. Veterot koskum. Make astvat. Who's the Father of all? Vor bolorim rae. Who says who is over all and through all and in all? Bolorim meche bolorim heta. Amen. This is the gift of unity that we have, that God has given us. Amen. And no matter where we're from. We're from the other side of the world. We come in to worship together. And this verse filled my heart. That we are one people together. That we have one father. That we are brothers and sisters. And though we've never met you, and you've never seen us, there's so much, there's joy and peace. Amen. Because we're one body and we have one spirit. Uh, uh, verse 7 our last verse it says but to each one of us grace was given according to the measure of Christ's gift <clears throat> and so God says that each of us everyone every, every person has a gift from God. Amen. And we're to share that gift. In a body, we have all different kinds of gifts. But we're to share it with one another. And so that we can serve one another. And so what I thought we would do this morning is that I was going to have us have us pray for you and then have you pray for us because we want to give you the gifts that we have and 
but we want to receive the gifts that you have. Amen. And so as one family, we want to give and we want to receive. Amen. So, um, okay, so let's, let's all stand together. Okay, and let's, let's pray for all of us. And then after that, we can start walking. Okay. So, Father, thank you for this body. Thank you for this church. Say, Lord, release the gifts of the Holy Spirit into this church. Release the presence of God and the authority of Christ. Father, meet their needs that they would walk in a way that honors you. Say, Lord, come and release the gifts of the Holy Spirit that would encourage and strengthen and heal people's hearts and that they were where they're tired we pray for the strength of God to come and so Lord release your anointing and your authority now in Jesus name Amen. 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 city lord we ask lord touch them lord fill them be with them lord god let them hear the sounds of heaven that will be released lord into uh, this city and so lord come lord god bring this unity anointing and presence over them together lord we say lord let this up uh, this anointing of worship god come lord and let it flow out of their hearts out of their lives Can you can you come? Can you come? Can you come? If you get bad dreams, pray that Jesus breaks that off of your lives and that assignment. Even kids. Do kids are there kids? 
Don't be shy. It's bad dreams. Okay. Bring God to the elderly Lord in this community. And that, God, there would be a team activity, God, of being able to work together in unity by the spirit of prophecy and dreams. And so we command, Lord, the enemy to back off of this community with that spirit of witchcraft and diversion in the name of Jesus. So we command that spirit of witchcraft, Lord, to be removed. God, that even anything that's being, that has a root or a tie... We say that in this season, you would come with the fire of God and a sword of the Spirit that would cut, Lord, the spirit of witchcraft off of this house in the name of Jesus. Thank you very much. <laughs> Pastor Roger and Tim. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs>
Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 Amen.